Hey, what's up guys? It's Quick Timing. So it's been some time since I posted some content. It's been around a week. I uh, haven't been feeling too good recently. I've actually been a bit sick. Uh, so my bad about that, guys. I'll be back on the grind posting GTA 5 once again. So don't worry. I have not left. I've been getting lots of messages from you guys asking me if I've quit YouTube and whatnot. And that is definitely not the case. So but recently, there's been a lot of new changes to GTA 5. They've brought in some new cars. I think a new plane. And also, I think they've actually added... NOS which is NOS and I didn't actually quite get around to making a video about that but just before I actually got sick and I wasn't able to commentate uh, I had a video recorded on one of the very first NOS cars to post on YouTube and then obviously people caught on to what it was and then lots of people posted content so anyway getting back to the point I think they've actually added NOS or turbo as an add-on to vehicles now now I'm not too sure if it's only for the new cars or if it's for all vehicles I haven't had a chance to uh, test it out but anyway besides that let's get right into this and we can see what exact updates they've actually added into Grand Theft Auto 5 now there will also be a text version of this if you want to read it yourself in the description so anyway let's get right into what they've added so just to be clear guys, there's about, I think around 60 or 70 or even 80 changes uh, to Grand Theft Auto 5 with the new 1.11 patch. So uh, everything will be in the description. Obviously, I don't want to go through every single thing because that's going to take me all day. I'd have to probably make about 10 videos. So let's just go through some of the top things. They've actually got it ordered um, between top changes and also full change list. So if you are really a diehard Grand Theft Auto fan, then you can... Uh, be sure to take your time and read through the whole list. So anyway, let's go through the top one. So first of all, we've got new clothing items have been added to the clothes store. So if you guys like to customize and personalize your character, then that's something that you're most likely going to be interested in. It doesn't actually specifically say what they've added, uh, like new t-shirts, I'm guessing, maybe some new shoes. I think I, I'm on the lookout for some new shoes, so hopefully they've added some, uh, some new shoes. Anyway, they've also added new tattoos and also tattoo parlors have been added. So that's going to be uh, pretty cool for those of you guys who are into the tattoos. Four new hairstyles, two male, two female, have been added to the barbers and salons. Also some new movie masks have been added. Not too sure what that exactly means, but you guys will have to check it out. Two new tie smoke colors are available from Los Santos Customs in online, and that's uh, green and purple. Four new vehicles. Now this is the best bit of the whole update. Uh, they've added the Grotti Tomizo R, the uh, Dinka Jester the Albany Alpha and the Buckingham Vestra, all really cool cars. I've actually had a chance to try out the uh, the Turmizo, I think I'm saying that right, Turismo. I'm, I probably completely said that wrong, you guys will have to let me know in the comments, but um, I've had a chance to try that thing out, that looks absolutely awesome. In fact, I should have some gameplay of that, and to actually see how fast this thing is, then you can have a look on the screen right now. So, moving on a little bit. Uh, we've actually got two new weapons as well, the heavy pistol and the special carbon. Haven't had a chance to try those things out yet, but I'm sure they're pretty cool. Three new celebrations have been added to online dock, uh, comma, knuckle crunch, and air thrusting. So they're new, um, new celebration moves, I guess. Pretty cool stuff. Players who are not the host of a job are now shown the quote-unquote view joined players info option while on the setting screen. This allows the player to access the list of players in the lobby, allowing muting or profile and stats or viewing profile and stats my bad I misread that but that's pretty cool because uh, that's something we needed before so it's cool they've added that in finally we also fixed an issue where players were unable to claim vehicles after being destroyed in the impound lot now that actually did happen to me a couple of times so it's great uh, to see once again that rockstar are actually getting their the hand into the stuff and fixing it uh, because this is some stuff that didn't do fixing there's also a uh, fixed an exploit where players were able to bring vehicles from single player into online that was quite a big exploit that went around YouTube a couple of months ago and lots of people got their Franklin's Buffalo into Grand Theft Auto online from that glitch I personally didn't because I didn't have one on PlayStation at the time but anyway that's that moving on fix an issue in story mode where a Titan would blow up when stored in a hangar don't think that's too much of a big deal to me personally um, anyway moving on if a player has already ranked up a character to rank 20 they'll be given the option to skip the tutorial so that is definitely a, a good one there if uh, anyone's already ranked up and you want to do the tutorial. Once again, kind of a minor thing. And last but not least, a number of vehicles have been added back to vehicles that can be stored in player garages. Karen Rebel, uh, Beta, Albany, Emperor, Bravado, Bisson versions, Bravado Rumpo, Vapid Speedo, 
Chinese, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that last one, but I probably just completely embarrassed myself by mispronouncing every single one of those as I'm not too good with those, but maybe some of those vehicles you used to have in your garage and now you are, you're now able to have them back in there. So that's all cool stuff and that's been patch 1.11. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video, it's been a rather long one, so please do drop a like if you did enjoy this video and only drop a like if you did enjoy it. And if I guess if you didn't enjoy it, feel free to drop a dislike. I wouldn't say drop, leave a dislike, that sounds better. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day, and as always, it's been quick timing, and peace out.